Hi, welcome to YOH Crochet. My name is Anita. Thank you so much for stopping in today and spending a few minutes of your time with me. Thanks to those who've been here for a while and thanks to those who might be new. So today I have for you a look inside the latest Crochet World magazine. And I had a renewal notice come in the mail. I don't know. Uh, sometime in December and it said renew by January 30th and I still have another I never renewed but I have another issue and I just got done from work I don't know maybe an hour or two ago and this was waiting for me in the mail when I got home and I never renewed because I didn't really have the money I was going to because if you renewed by the end of December they were going to give you a, a free calendar and I believe the calendar had like crochet patterns every month but Christmas and stuff I just didn't have the funds and then my issues with my unemployment and yes all that fun stuff uh, funds just did not allow for me to renew but I have received the spring 2024 issue that was in the mail waiting for me so maybe it wasn't time for me because I was pretty sure when I got the subscription I got it for two years so and I think someone else that I know had that same issue it came time for renewal and she went ahead and renewed and she was getting two copies every month so I don't think it was time for me me to renew but regardless I have Crochet World Spring 2024, and I really like that top that's on the cover. It's very pretty. I don't think I would put the tie on. I would just probably leave it open with no tie. Um, I have not looked at this yet. I just, just now took it out of a little plastic bag that it was in because it had all these, all these ad things in it. Yeah. So I haven't looked at it yet, so I'm looking at it for the first time with you. And let us see what we've got going on. Oh, it looks like there's going to be a pretty doily in there. Very, like, Easter colors. But we'll get that. We'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, so first we have, in the beginner's corner, this puzzle Tawashi. So it says, origami meets crochet in this cheerful little scrubber. So it's a little... It's a little scrubby. It's kind of cute. I've never seen a scrubby quite like that before. So this is by Cindy Adams. I'll show you again a picture of it. And it is skill level easy. Finish measurements is a four inch square and they use Red Heart Super Saver in acrylic. That's odd. If this is like a scrubby, you would think, uh, would want to use cotton for it I don't know but there is that and, okay making sure a page didn't get stuck together next we have scrap in the category scraps delight we have these modern hanging baskets those are kind of cute and skill level easy, finish measurements, 7 inches tall, excluding the handle, 7 inches wide, 1 flat, and 4 inches deep. And the pattern is by Nicole Byrnes, Byrnes, B-Y-R-N-E-S. So there is that. And what is next? Na oh, that's a very cute amigurumi. Next, we have Petra Bunny, designed by Fat Lady Crochet. And it is a very cute bunny. So there's a little bunny. And then there is the back side of the bunny. And this is skill level easy as well. And it is six and a half, half inches tall. And they use a four weight acrylic which is what I tend to use for all my Amis. Oh, I'm just curious. They use a 
4.0 hook, which is, again, what I, I tend to use a 4 weight acrylic with a 4.0 hook for all of my Amis. And next we have a doily. This is not the one that I was commenting on earlier. This is a different doily. So this is a Nina's doily by, designed by Olga. Ooh, here, I'm just going to show you the name. Because I cannot say, I, I, I can't say that. And skill level is, sorry, intermediate and finish size is approximately nine and three quarter inches in diameter. And they used a super fine one weight yarn. And it's kind of different. The doily with the tassels in there like that, that's, that's different. You don't see that too terribly often. At least I don't. And this pattern also has a chart, which I will not show because that is part of the pattern. We don't, don't want to show that. And then, so in one of these other issues, they had an article making crochet garments that fit. And this is, they had now have the article making crochet garments that fit part two. And I really need to read. I never read part one, but I struggle with wearables big time. They never fit me right. And it's another pretty doily. Um, this is not the one that I saw earlier, but I really like this one. This is Love and Hugs Doily by Gemma R. Owen. And they used a lace weight yarn. Skill level is intermediate. Um, 15 and 3 quarter inches in diameter. And I really like, look at the little hearts in there. That's so cute. Great for Valentine's Day. So, love that doily. And what else have we got? Th um, that doily also has um, the, the written instructions and a chart. And this is the Tiny Hearts doily. And this is designed by Diane Stone. Skill level was intermediate. Finish measurement is 11 inches in diameter, and they also used a lace weight yarn. And you can also see some hearts in there. I think I like the prior doily better than this one, though. Um, now, this is a doily that I saw in the table of contents that I thought was very pretty for Easter. And this is the Easter Pastels Doily. And the skill level is easy. Finished measurement is 14 inches in diameter and also with a lace weight yarn. And look, you got the little Easter eggs in the center there. How cute is that? That's really pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. And then... Oh, this is different. This is kind of cool. I like this, too. Um, there's a lot of good doily patterns in this uh, issue. This is the Butterflies Fancy Table Set. Look at how cute is that. It's a little butterfly. And the skill level on this is intermediate. Finished measurements. Placemat is 12 and a half by 16 inches. Napkin rings are 2 and a quarter inches wide. Um, they use size three crochet cotton and so the napkin rings are there and then the butterfly placemat is there that's so cute i really like that and this one also has a qr code you can scan to purchase the online class learn to crochet lace hairpin broomstick and brugis i don't know how to say that to help you master the bruges or bruges lace right there and moving on did I tell you the designer oh the designer for this butterfly set right here was Maggie Petch and let's see what we got next there's another picture of the butterfly and my pages are sticking together Come on, magazine. There we go. Oh, all that for 
not a pattern. So this section is um, editor's favorites. So they are just reviewing various um, products. One is the Mix and Match Modern Crochet Blanket. So they're just talking about that book there. And here are, you can purchase this book by visiting um, davidandcharles.com or amazon.com. So I'll just give you the link there in case you're interested. The title of the book, again, Mix and Match Modern Crochet Blankets. And there is some of the blankets that are in that book. And then the other pro product they are talking about is called a yarn tender. So they're a removable leather tender. Uh, fits over the handle of your crochet project bag and keeps each color you are working with separated. So you just kind of put that on the handle and then you put your yarn through those little eyelets. And they have an Instagram if you are interested. And it is right there. And then we have Artsy Arthur's sticker packs. So they're crochet and yarn stickers. So I will show you those. And again, if you are interested, they have a Facebook and Instagram. And they also have an Etsy shop here. That's where you're going to want to go to purchase. There you go. And let's see what else we got in this magazine. Oh, we have our first afghan. It is called the Spring Breeze Afghan. And there we go, right there. And skill level on this guy is easy. And finished measurements, 43 inches wide by 60 inches long. And they use worsted weight yarn. And this pat, excuse me, this pattern is designed by Christine. All right, there, there's her name. And there's also a QR code for more books and patterns that use a double-ended crochet hook. Okay, so let's just use a double-ended crochet hook. Yep, this uses, oh, my hair is tickling my nose. This uses a size G6 4 millimeter double ended hook and a 5 millimeter regular hook. And what else have we got? Next, we have the Garden Afghan designed by Dot Drake. So, I'm going to just fold half of that page over like so. So there it is, and this is skill level, intermediate, finished measurements, 44 inches by 66 inches, and they use worsted weight yarn, and yes, I told you the designer, that would be, that would be Dot Drake, and then next we have by D Diane Piolot, um, a scrap afghan. Skill level is easy, and finish size 57 inches by 75 inches for weight yarn. I gotta say, I think my favorite patterns so far are those doily, some of those doilies. Um, we have the Wild Rose set by Sherry L. Jacobson. So... We have dishcloth and scrubbies. And then the scrubbies are just, I think. Oh, wait, I see the scrubbies. So if you see that little flower up here, I'm sure there's probably a better picture on the next page. Let's check it out. Yes. Okay. So there, that's a little flower. That's kind of cute, actually. And next we have by Bendy Carter, the Special Stitches Washcloth. And it is intermediate and it's 11 inch square. 
There we go. Um, I wonder if there's a couple or if it's just the one. I'm trying to, my pages stick together. Um, yeah, so it looks like there is a few different ones with different stitches. Oh, that pink is really blowing out. Okay, next we have one skein wonder quick and easy octopus and it looks like it's a yeah it's like a cleaning mitt so there it is that's different so you put your hand up in the body there and it is a cleaning mitt skill level is easy let's see if there is a picture of it being used uh, come on, pages. No, there is not. But, yes, it looks like it's, it says it's a mitt, so I would assume, yeah, that you put your hand in there. Um, next we have the mini blind cleaner. Skill level easy, and this is by Ashleya. I can't. I can't. I know. I'm going to butcher it. So, it is this guy here. And here is a picture of it in action. So, you just stick your hand in there and you can clean your blinds. Oh, I see. You stick your fingers. So, she's got thumb and index finger, finger in there. And then you just put the blind in between and clean next I don't have blinds in my house anymore um, the dogs like to um, the blinds were in the bedroom windows and the bedroom overlooks the road and the dogs always liked to look out the window and if the blinds were shut they would stick their nose in between the blinds and they kind of ruined the blinds so I just got rid of them I threw them away next we have the <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the reusable cleaning pad by Deborah Ark. And it's like a Swiffer, Swiffer cover. And it looks like a lot of loopy stitches. And skill level is easy on this guy. And there's a QR code to, for a video. And well, I I'm assuming it's a video instructions. But it just says scan this code to learn how to create the loop stitch. And next we have, there's like a spring cleaning section. That's why there's so many uh, Swiffer covers and mitt cleaners. And so we have, um, next we have the dust mitt by Pamela Noel. And that's right there. And... Uh, where, I think a page is stuck together. Maybe. Yes. Oh my goodness, with these pages. Next, we have the pattern from the cover of the book, which I really like. This might be one of my favorites. And this is the Lovely Lace Cardigan by Nazanin S. Fard. There is her name. And there is the top again. And skill level says moderately challenging. And sizes are instructions given to fit women size small. Changes for the medium large, extra large, 2X, and 3X large are in brackets. And it looks like they used a super fine cotton. And Zeppelin is barking upstairs. And then here is the picture from the cover. 
And that's really pretty. Here, I'm going to show that to you one more time. Because I think that's really pretty. I really like that. Really like that. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, these pages just want to stick together. Next, we have the Watercolor Waves Poncho by Rebecca Greico. And skill level on this guy is easy. Finish measurements 61 and a quarter inches wide before seaming by 20 and a half inches deep. And they used a number three light yarn. And next we have the Dancing Waters Tote designed by Joyce Geisler. And there it is right there. And skill level is intermediate. Finished measurement 17 inches tall by 16 and three quarter inch wide excluding the fringe and they used a two weight yarn and introducing a new pattern book easy to follow instructions with large full color photographs search product code 871874 and okay so this is a book you can purchase on Annie's that fox bat basket is so cute so if you're interested in that, it is $12.99. And next we have the Sweet Morning Shawl. And there it is right here. And this is designed by Kathy Marsh. Skill level is easy. Finished measurements is 70 inches long. 18 inches wide, excluding tassels. And they use Premier Yarns Puzzle Cotton. Okay. Sorry, I was just looking at an ad. And next we have the Soft Lavender Cardigan. I don't really like my cardigans short like that. I like them longer. Um, skill level intermediate. Finish sizes go from small all the way up to 3XL. And they use Cascade Ultra Pima Light in a three weight yarn. And this was designed by Kristen Stoltzfus Clay. So there is that. I'll get let you see a little bit closer so you can see some of the detail and oh, 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 oh. oh look at here look at the back of that it's got like a little a little diamond on the back all right we're getting near the end of the magazine, it looks like. Uh, and then here's another shot of a photograph of that top of the side of the sleeve. And... <laughs> Next is the Strawberry Ripple Throw. Skill level is intermediate. And it's got a little bit of texture to it, if you can see right there. Um, finish measurements 56 inches wide by 60 inches long. And work cables in a gentle chevron pattern with an ombre or variegated yarn to create the intricate appearance of this future heirloom. And the uh, designer on this is Randy. Cavalier and pages are sticking again. Next we have the Darling Delights Wrap by Jane Snedden Peaver. I think that's how you say it. It's kind of pretty. 
but lots of joining of motifs. I'm not all about that. So skill level is intermediate. Um, finished measurements, 22 inches wide by 60 inches long, excluding edging and excluding, including edging and excluding fringe. They used a th three, a size three yarn, and yeah, you have to make a total of 184 medallions, 36 in one color, 36 in another, 37 in one, 37 in a different color, and 38 in another color. That's a lot of motifs. It's pretty, but here, here's another photograph of it. There you go. And <laughs> this is super cute. We have another Amigurumi. We have Souffle the Fleece Teddy. And they used Lion Brand Gopher Fleece Sherpa Jumbo. So, there's a little teddy bear with a heart. That is super cute. And the um, designer is Julia Chiang. There is her name. And there is the teddy bear again. He's cute. And here is a shot of the back of the bear. Miko, you keep moving my tripod, Goober. All right, I think there's only a few more. We have cinnamon roll coasters. And these are by Dana Rushhold for yarnovations.com. Oh, this is cute. It's a corner cake basket designed by Deborah Ark. So this is her second pattern, I believe, in this magazine. The skill level is intermediate. Finished measurements, 15 and a half inches wide, six and a half inches tall, and 11 and a half inches deep. And they used a Premier Ribbon yarn. It's really cute. It's a slice of cake. And then here is another photograph of that basket. And it looks like they used um, something in the base, like some sort of liner, plastic canvas. It looks like to keep the bottom sturdy. And, oh, this is a pretty blanket. Next we have Textured Icing Tunisian Throw, and I do not know how to do Tunisian, but look at that texture. That's really pretty. So this is designed by Tara Orchid. It's really pretty. And here, I'll let you look at it while I talk about it. Um, skill level is intermediate. Finished measurements are 46 inches wide by 53 inches long. They use Premier Yarns Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted Medium. And I can't imagine there's very many more. Next we have the Cotton Candy Tunic and Cowl. And it's just simple, but it would be really cute with leggings. So this is designed by Melissa Leafman. Skill level is easy. Um, sizes go from medium up to 5XL. And they used a three lightweight yarn. Um, Plymouth Yarn, Bristol Yarn Gallery, Ashton. It doesn't say what fiber content they used. but And then there is also... A cowl to go with it. And I think that might be the last pattern. Yep, that is the last one. So, what are your favorites? I like 
The bunny is cute, but I like the bear better. I like that doily. I thought that butterfly placemat was very unique. I like the Easter egg one. Um, this top for sure. And the bear, Ami, and probably the cake basket. And I really do like this Tunisian, Tunisian blanket. I just don't know how to do Tunisian. So I think those are my favorites. What are yours? Let me know in the comments. And I don't know. Hopefully I get a couple more issues of this. And I am going to have to assign this magazine a number and put it in my stack of crochet magazines and books so that when I do the random number picker for when I need to figure out a whip, when I don't have anything to work on, when I start a new project, I can pick one from this stack of books here. All right. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.